Hey guys, do not use water to clean the carbon buildup inside of your engine. Why? Because it could hydrolock it. This all got started back in the day when people were using additives such as Seafoam, Liquid Molly, Lucas Fuel Injector Cleaner, Gun Mount, STP, and so many more. Some saying they're the best cleaners there ever was, such as STP. And others, well, they're saying it's just a bunch of snake oil. Or they're fouling out their spark plugs and causing other problems, check engine lights, and so forth. Well, as you know, I've tested every fuel injector cleaner, fuel additive, intake valve cleaner, you name it. What about the water? Well, how do you actually do it? I can tell you one thing, you don't want to do it in the way that people are actually hydrolocking their engine. Yeah, they're taking their vacuum lines off, putting it straight down in a cup of water, sucking up all that water, big gulps. You know, your engine's like a glorified air compressor, somewhat. Now, that's going to cause nothing but damage. Not to mention, if it doesn't damage the engine at that moment in time, it's going to get down in your oil, guys, and it's going to cause you problems on the long road. So what you want to do is go and grab you a mist bottle, a spray bottle, at your local Walmart, wherever, for a dollar. And you can pour this water in there and it will put out a fine mist. And you want to do this at a very slow rate. And you want to allow your engine to actually heat up to operating temperatures and run your RPMs up to about 2,000 to 2,500 RPMs probably have an extra person there when you do it or you can use a pole or post or something to hold the uh, gas pedal down whatever you need to do unless you have a throttle cable which most new cars don't actually have so if you have that you know you can be inside the engine uh, compartment and just do it by hand guys don't try this if you don't know what you're doing do it at your own risk absolutely 100 percent i know there's a lot of people down in the ni community that can tell you all about this i'm sure they've tried it there's a lot of people had a lot of experience with this and great results you can actually see i tried to use it cleaning intake valves on a direct injection engine that you can see has the worst carbon buildup ever well guys i want to thank you for watching nate's interactive auto